Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and we're going to talk about our new 3ds Max exporter and PV3D XML primitive. Now, it happened again. We built these incredible 3ds Max models, eight of them actually, uh, to bring into a Paper Vision 3D Google Maps project, and they wouldn't work. Uh, you know, Carlotta was great with seven, with a fix. It worked in eight, kind of, and it really died in nine. And so we couldn't bring it in using Carlotta, so we actually built our own uh, exporter from 3ds Max. It works really well, and uh, we use it to bring in our models into Google Maps. And uh, I'll give you an example of one of those models real quick here. Let's click on this house. And uh, let me bring that down so you can see it. Here's our little oscillating or rotating house in space. And we set this right on a Google Map. And this is the Gaines House in Walton County, a little spook house right there. So let's go back to the blog. So you can look at the demo and the source, and the YouTube is being done right now. Uh, this actually was pretty much just built from an exporter that was already out there, an AS3 Geo Geometry Class exporter. And we just rewrote the Max script so it would export XML as opposed to a class, which makes it, you know, pretty much universal because anything talks to XML. And we built a primitive actually to work with 3ds Max to bring that information into Paper Vision. And also we built the same thing for CS4. If you want to know how the demo was built, the actual uh, house that you saw earlier, you can actually take a look at Alex Green's tutorials on YouTube. Here's the addresses right here. And if you want to see the whole code, the uh, the 3ds Max script and the uh, the uh, wrapper file, the XML primitive, it's all here. You can download it uh, from uh, the web. So that's pretty much it. That's the new 3ds Max XML exporter, very similar to the brilliant, very similar to the Blender one that we created earlier, and you can use it for uh, your modeling.